you'll feel it in your hands now before you actually hear it. Yeah, that looked like he got a full release. <laughs> All right, I recently had the opportunity to sit down with Tom Hogue, and that's the guy from Buster's Corner that wrote the scripting in IRFFB to allow us to have understeer available on all vehicles in, uh, in iRacing. Yeah, um, is, yeah. The code works in both numbers, so I didn't want to do a whole rewrite on it. Now, the guy who wrote the original code, he brought that code back, and I thought he was going to do an update. So I'm hoping we get another update from IRFB where he took what I did and, and up, does a re updates it. it. It does. His does have this information in it now. Does it have the slider in it? I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. Okay, that'd be awesome. Yeah, he, he reached out and liked the code, and he pulled it back, and... So yeah, so that's why I didn't do any more updates because he's way better than I was. And so I'd much rather he goes forward with it instead of me. That's that's the original one, the NLP. That yeah, that's the original. Updated forever. This one. Yeah. Oh, he did. Well, that's even better. That's awesome, right? Oh, even yeah. So that's my a copy of my. Oh, that's good. He pulled it right over and put it back on his. That's great. Yeah, that's what I thought he'd done, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I will. And then in the video, I'll link back to his and let everybody know that he's picked it up. I'll still credit you because this is this is definitely your baby. That brought it yeah. Up, but. Yeah, but they put a lot of work in. They, they, did, they did some good stuff. And I'm going to tell you how I want you to test this. What you're going to be doing is you're going to go create an extreme situation. You're going to get on a straightaway. You're going to go down the straightaway as fast as you can. Then as you go into the corner, right as you would into the corner, I want you to take a hard left turn and take that one just rip it 90 to 100 degrees as you go into the next corner to create, induce a push condition. Yeah, so anyways, the idea is as you're leaning, right, leaning in that wheel and you start get a push condition, the wheel should get, try to start to uh, get softer on feedback. Yeah, just like you would expect going driving on an icy road. Right? You look, yeah, you look like yeah, you I feel it this time. Okay, so what we want to do first is create an extreme situation so that you feel what it what it should feel like when that understeer release force happens. So the easiest way to do that is to take your max force and run it to the left as much as you can stand without breaking your thumbs. Uh, 15 to 20 is usually good for, for my direct drive. It gives you a lot of the feel, extreme torque. And you take this understeer release force and set it over here to one, and understeer release force multiplier to one. These numbers represent how fast or how soon it will release when when the uh, so you're in a turn and you can see my wheel when you're in a turn and if it breaks loose or start get you in an understeer that you will start to feel it'll get lighter and the situation we're going to set up is by locking up the brakes in a turn and it will go totally limp so let's get in car and see what that looks like. Alright, I'm just go out here and drive around in a circle. And as I drive around, it's hard to see how much force I'm having to apply to the wheel. But as it gets tighter and starts to over understeer more, the wheel actually gets looser. Up to the point that if I lock the brakes, it goes crazy. Let's try that again. Hey. So 
I'm driving and you snap the wheel to the left and it's loose. The wheel gets loose, not the car gets loose. The car gets in an understeer or a pushing condition and the wheel gets really loose. It doesn't disconnect all the way. One minute, 19.15. But what we can do to get it to disconnect all the way, get it to there and lock up the brake. Now the wheel doesn't disconnect from in game. You can still obviously see turn your wheel and you're turning the car wheels, but there's no force feedback on it until you start moving again. There. Now you got now you got the force again. One minute 15.54. So you can see as it gets tighter, the wheel actually loosens up. And it, like I said, it's easier to feel with the higher six. torque settings or for your extreme setting. Obviously, you wouldn't want to run that in a in a race situation. Okay, so now that we understand what it feels like, we can go back up here, put our max force back to the right to what we normally would have. And keep in mind that this max force slider is backwards for some reason for what most people would understand you would think that 65 would be more force than five but uh, I don't know the logic behind it I just know that's how it works now we start working this number to the right so that it doesn't release too early so that you don't lose that force feeling in the car in the in just a, a very light situation what I found works best for me on on this particular car is about 20 with 1x. We we'll get back in the car. We we'll get back in the car. It gets lighter. 17.3. It pushes, six. it gets lighter. And then it pulls back, it gets stronger. You can kind of see it. I'm trying to hold minimal pressure with my thumb here to just. It's lighter. And if I let off the throttle, three, six. it pulls back. And the force comes back on the wheel. Just like before when you lock up the brakes it totally disconnects the force not the in-game wheels okay so now we have it set up scratching like a dog okay so now <laughs> all right so now we have it set up for the skippy and you go through that same process for each car, if you, for the next gen, for any car, any car that you want to add that slider uh, understeer effect to, you need to do that same process because each car will have a different release point.
All right, so I hope that helps everybody understand how to set up the uh, this understeer slider a little bit better and how it feels, how it how it works. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, certainly feel free to comment below. I appreciate it. Uh, give it a thumbs up to help spread the word. Subscribe if you already have it to see other content like this and more edutainment that I put out in in my racing videos. I always try to add little little tips and tricks in there. Uh, throughout the race, plus some entertainment type stuff. Uh, take a look at some of my last races and you'll see. And as always, thanks for watching.